Hi, thanks for joining us today on the Thundering Legion, and I'm your host, Christine Ross. Did you know that there is a doctor shortage in the United States? And that's why the Affordable Care Act can never be implemented. That's right, we don't have enough doctors to man the system right now, and more doctors are retiring every day, which is making the doctor shortage worse. So what can you do about it? Today on the How to Save Your Own Life video course, we're going to be talking about the role of magnesium in heart disease. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not licensed to diagnose or prescribe. This information is for educational purposes only and is not meant to diagnose or prescribe. But first, today is January the 17th, and the last day to see That Vitamin Movie, which is free at www.thatvitaminmovie.com. The movie describes how to cure heart disease, cancer, and a lot of other illnesses with large doses of vitamins. Magnesium is a highly reactive metal and one of the most common metals in the human body. Your body must have magnesium to survive, and most of the supplemental magnesium that you take will not be absorbed. For decades now, medical research has shown that low levels of magnesium go hand in hand with heart disease and diabetes. The less magnesium that you have in your body, the more likely it is that you will develop heart disease and diabetes. Most Americans have low le levels of magnesium. Your body uses up more magnesium when it's under stress. Many types of soda have phosphoric acid in them, which can deplete magnesium. In addition, eating sugar and meat and drinking tea and coffee can also deplete magnesium. Chocolate has a lot of magnesium in it. Maybe that's why craving chocolate is a known symptom of magnesium deficiency. Even if you take a magnesium supplement, a lot of it is not absorbed. For example, if you take 1,000 milligrams of magnesium malate, your body will absorb only 20% of that. The best way to take magnesium is in the form of magnesium glycinate, magnesium citrate, magnesium ascorbate, magnesium malate, and magnesium threonate. There is also a saturated solution known as magnesium oil, which can rub on your skin. Although it's called magnesium oil, it's actually a thick solution of magnesium and water taken from a European source. Magnesium oxide and magnesium sulfate are often poorly absorbed. Magnesium hydroxide is in milk of magnesia and magnesium sulfate is also known as Epsom salts. If you try taking both of these orally, you may, they, are, they also have a laxative effect. If that bothers you, then take another form of magnesium. Dr. Carolyn Dean is a medical and natural, naturopathic doctor who has a column on newswithviews.com. In one of her columns, Dr. Dean says, magnesium is necessary for between 700 and 800 enzyme systems in the body that control thousands of chemical interactions. Dr. Dean says it is not true that those with kidney failure cannot take magnesium. You can also find her work at drcarolyndean.com. Lots of people take calcium supplements with magnesium. If you do that, you should stop taking calcium and get it from your diet instead. Health writer Bill Sardi mentioned a study published in the British Medical Journal in his column on lewrockwell.com. The study showed a 45% increased risk for a heart attack amongst menopausal women taking calcium pills. There have been studies showing that taking calcium pills can lead to hardening of the arteries. You can meet, read more about this by going to www.lewrockwell.com, click on Authors, and then click on Bill Sardi. Next week, I'm going to be talking about garlic and heart disease. I will also talk about how to take it so that the smell won't come out of your pores. It would be nice if parsley could take away the smell, but I have found that it does not. If you'd like me to keep you updated about the new videos, go to my website, www.thethunderinglegion.com, and sign up for my newsletter at the left-hand side of the page. You know, the best advice, the health advice I've ever had was from a health food store owner. He said that when you don't know what to do uh, about your health, pray to God and ask him to show you what to do. Billy Graham said that even though the United States is as wicked as Sodom and Gomorrah, if we prayed for our country, God can turn it around. 
After World War II, patriotic Austrians drove the communists out of their country by praying the rosary every day that God would drive the communists out of their country. That's why you should pray the rosary every day for your salvation and that of your country. Goodbye now.